Hello everyone, welcome to Geography Made Easy. Today we will discuss about simple conical projection with one standard parallel. Simple conical projection with one standard parallel is another important video of this series called projection. So in this part we will discuss about the basic understanding and the principle behind the simple conical projection. I am starting with standard parallel as because from the heading itself you can see that it is written as simple conical projection with one standard parallel. So before we start the projection we should understand what is actually the standard parallel. So the parallels along which a projection plane or developable surface uh, touches basically <coughs> or intersects. So what is a developable surface? For example, if you know that in perspective projection, we use the generating globe, source of light and we put a plain sheet of paper. For example, if it is a simple conical projection, the conical name itself has come from that particular concept of cone. So when that particular cone made of simple paper is cut and made flat like this papers, so that is developable surface. So what has been said that the parallels along which a projection plane or developable surface touches or intersect the generating globe, it is called a standard parallel. Along the standard parallel, the tangential scale is essentially 1 is to 1. And these are always the line of zero distortion. So tangential scale is a scale of scale factors which is found along the standard parallel. So we'll quickly see the diagram from there we can understand why it is known as standard parallel. So basically in this diagram you can see that this is a cone made of plus, uh, paper um, paper simply which has been placed over a generating globe and this cone is touching here Q and P points. So when it is touching here we have said that the scale has been truly maintained here. The source of light is here, it is radiating from here up to this so these two are the points which is connecting and simply this line is known as standard parallel and all the scales of simple conical projection the tangential scale is truly maintained along this parallel only the other parallels are distorted so this is the standard parallel now let us go deep into the principles of simple conical projection so in this projection simple right circular cone that cone i have shown you touches the generating globe along a parallel it is perspective projection why it is perspective because there is a source of light through which by help of which we draw the parallels and meridians in which parallels and meridians are projected directly on the inner surface of the cone hope you understood this with respect to the source of light at the center of the generating globe as simple as that in perspective projection we have a source of light in the into the generating globe and, and the generating globe is circumscribed through a different type of developable surfaces like in this case it is the simple cone so let cone VAB be the projection plane which touches the generating globe so this VAB you can see this this angle VAB is this particular projection plane which is touching the generating globe at Q and P points Therefore, the standard parallel P and Q is projected as the arc of the circle, like this arc, with radius VP or VP1 or VQ or VQ1. Okay. Now, the radius is CE, CE, CP, CN, CQ, uh, sorry, CW, not CQ. There is no line between C and Q. C, W, C, S. All these are radiating from the center and going up to the perimeter. So these are all uh, the radius. So I have written as C, E equal to P, E equal to C, N equal to C, Q equal to C, W equal to C, S equal to R. Now let V, V is the, uh, the tan tangent. Let's see. V, V, this is V point and this is B. So V, V is the tangent. Why tangent? Spot show. Because it touches the generating globe. Therefore, VPC, that is V, P, and C, 
it is angle VPC equal to C P D is 90 degree so we know so this is touching here which is in 90 degree so angle VPC is 90 degree similarly angle C P B is also 90 degree angle so it has been explained here up to this it is clear there is a standard parallel which is uh, there uh, and this is the cone deployable surface which is touching at the point P and that is why we are getting this VPC and uh, equal to 90 degree and CPB equal to 90 degree not only that this is CP then CN, CA, CW, CE all these are red, uh, radius or R and obviously since uh, this uh, VPC is a uh, is actually projected uh, or on the VP uh, VB uh, what to say since this um, standard parallel CP is projected on as the deployable surface alongside the point P where it is touching so we can say that it is actually creating a radiating arc basically so when it is cut and developed it looks like this from the VP point we are getting this arc of standard parallel this is the whole deployable surface and we are getting an arc here since it is touching along the generating loop okay up to this it is clear let us move forward so we are getting the VPC so triangle VPC is right angle triangle so if triangle VPC is right angle triangle, I will quickly show the VPC triangle here. So this is B, this is P and this is C. So this is a right angle triangle because it is touching at here and it is creating a 90 degree cone. So it's a right angle triangle. Okay. So if this is a right angle triangle, then we will see the further things. So since VPC is a right angle triangle, so angle PVC we have taken the same angle is equal to 180 degree minus VPC plus VCP. So I'll actually quickly draw here so that you get to, you know, your understanding gets clear. So see this angle PVC. So basically this is P and this is V and the center point, it is C. So angle PVC, if we see this, we get 180 degree because we know that uh, this is a triangle also VPC and triangle is having interior angle summation of 180 degree. So we want to find out the angle PVC. We need it. So angle PVC equal to nothing but 180 degree minus VPC, VPC plus VCP. These two angles, this one angle and this another angle, these two summation 180 degree having difference I mean 180 degree minus summation of these two angles VPC and VCP will give us PVC angle PVC now 180 degree minus this VPC we know that VPC is a tangent so it's a 90 degree so 90 degree plus VCP again 180 degree minus 90 degree is 90 degree minus VCP so VCE this VCE simply from here so it's a this is a particularly triangle okay BCE so or angle basically so this BCE minus BCP P C and P so I'll actually draw it so that you get better understand this what it is trying to explain so see this is the circle this is the cone which is coming this is V this is C and this is E okay and another angle is there which has been created this is my standard parallel this is P okay so angle VCE this entire angle minus angle PCP this this part angle this part angle will give us this part I hope you have understood so that is PCE this P C and E this part okay 
सो एंगल भि सीई माइनस भि सी पी इक्वल टू पी सीई और थीटा एज यू ऑलरेडी सेट इन दिस डायग्राम दैट पी सी इज ए थीटा आफ्टर दिस फ्रॉम राइट एंगल टू एंगल पी भि सी फ्रॉम राइट एंगल टू एंगल पी भि सी वी आर गेटिंग भि पी दिस भि पी एडजेंट एंगल एडजेंट साइड बेसिकली बाई पी सी opposite side adjacent by opposite means cot phi okay so or vp equal to pc into uh, uh, cot phi or vp vp is actually radius see this v and uh, sorry pc that's p and c is actually radius so we can write it as r so r into cot phi so this is the radius of the standard parallel so this was Uh, in simple conical projection with one standard parallel uh, we calculate everything to find out the radius of the standard parallel so in exam you should remember it because in exam we don't need to actually elaborate it so in exam when you calculate it this projection we have to find out the radius of the standard parallel and though uh, and also that a standard parallel radius will come from this formula this particular formula r cot phi so i hope you have understood the principles how this r cot phi comes from these uh, angles and you know from deductions and all this cot phi so now we'll come to the properties of this simple conical projection with one standard parallel so first of all it's a perspective projection okay the first you can see the first uh, property perspective projection are those type of projection where there is a generating globe and where is a source of light and through that source of light we are we draw the parallels and meridians so this is perspective projection next it parallels are concentric circles basically we take the standard parallel from the vertex and all other parallels also from the vertex so some single vertex we take all the parallels that is why these parallels acts as a concentric circle the third one is poles represented by arc even the pole also represented by arc radial scale is truly maintained along all parallel meridians all the meridians what we do radial scale is truly maintained meridians are straight lines you know meridians are straight lines because when we draw the uh, simple conical projection parallels are concentric circles like this in northern hemisphere case and meridians are like this okay meridians are like this so meridians are the straight lines radiating from the pole tangential though meridi uh, uh, meridional that is uh, radial scale is truly maintained along all the meridian but tangential scale is truly maintained only along the standard parallel and it's a epileptic type of projection what is an epileptic projection epileptic projection is a type of projection where its a four properties of a map projection are not maintained none of the four properties are maintained what are these properties the first property is the area equal area or homeography what is the second property the equal shape maintenance which is known as orthographic or sorry orthomorphic and the third one is the distance equidistance and the fourth one is the direction that is azimuthal these four properties are not maintained in this map projection that is why this is known as epileptic map projection you should remember because question may come as short question so this is the part one of this um, map second uh, second map projection uh, in this series simple conical projection with one standard parallel hope you have understood uh, the concepts so thank you so much for watching still if you are having any type of problem regarding this uh, theoretical background or any sort of doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i'll be happy more than happy to answer and in the next video we'll see how this mathematical calculations are been done to find out uh, to draw basically the map projection itself so thank you so much for today have a great day